Maria and I were just discussing how long we've known each other, and I think it's since 1988, but it actually speaks to the extraordinary close interactions which Indian scientists have had with scientists in Europe. And it goes back a lot longer than uh, 1988. And one of the interesting consequences of these interactions is that there's been quality science on both sides as a consequence. Uh, faculty members, scientists coming from Europe to here, and from here to Europe, students going back and forth. And there's such a close bonding that you may as well say that we speak as one on many scientific issues. The only way we can speedily do things with quality is by international collaboration and cooperation. And the European Molecular Biology Organization is perhaps the best organization in the world with which one can collaborate in the life sciences. One of the main aims uh, of EMBO from the start was not only, of course, to promote excellence in the life sciences, but also to promote international uh, mobility. And international mobility until uh, for the time that, as Vijay says, the interactions in Europe were being built was within Europe. But uh, now, with the strength that Europe has, it is not wise to be insular. But for the past four years since I've been director, we've really been promoting international interactions beyond uh, Europe. And India is one of the prime partners for this. And I'm extremely pleased that India, therefore, is going to be the first co uh, associate member of EMBO outside Europe. That is really a great pleasure that we've got it this far. And I look forward to uh, India being uh, then able to access all EMBO activities. We have, of course, already had many, many interactions, both between individuals, but also as EMBO uh, being involved in running courses and workshops here. Human biology in India, ecology in India, marine biology offer questions Uh, which head of the new frontiers of biology. Much of world science today is successful because of exploring new frontiers a while ago. But those frontiers and the size of that enterprise is focused on directions other than what our context offers in addition. Uh, so I think that's a tremendous opportunity, and we actually might see exciting new science coming out of this interaction. Science never stands still. And you spelled out the name EMBO with a molecular in it. We've actually stopped spelling out the name because we don't feel we need to be restricted by the M word anymore. Call it modern, call it uh, whatever you like. And we've recently expanded into fields of science that didn't used to be the core of EMBO, such as neuroscience. I mean, you saw what last yeah. year's Nobel Prize. Yeah. Neuroscience is really making fantastic strides with new imaging and recording techniques, for which India is also at the forefront and um, ecology and evolution. Yeah. And we have a representative here of that field, so I'm really glad to see that we'll be actually, uh, we're moving on and we'll move on together um, in these fields as well. And of course, our EMBO members, you, noticed, you mentioned them, EMBO has uh, basically consists of the 1,600 leading researchers in the life sciences in Europe. We'll be extremely happy to act as advisors as we do within Europe and um, help to promote whatever projects are going on in India. It will be a great pleasure. And, you know, I'd like to end by saying that science and scientists know no boundaries, and human problems also know no boundaries. And so us working together will not only do quality science, but will actually address the questions which are faced by humanity. Okay.